On Friday morning, the Department of Disability Services hosted an Experience My Pain activity in honor of Regional Blindness Awareness Month. More in this report. Government ministers, including the Honorable Marsha Henderson, the Honorable Samuel Duggins, and the Honorable Isoline Phillip, were among persons who took part in the Experience My Pain event on Friday morning. Beginning at various locations, the participants walked short distances, blindfolded with a cane, through the streets of Bastere. They were accompanied by a person who is blind or visually impaired, and a sighted person. According to President of the St. Kitts Society for the Blind, Rockleaf Bowen, this endeavor is intended to help raise awareness of the experiences of persons who are blind or visually impaired. We want the, um, the honorable ministers slash politicians to see what we go through on a daily basis. Some of the pains that you know we have to you know, endure when you know, walking the streets here in Bastyr. So as they experienced it, they were able to go back to the um, other cabinet colleagues, let them know the pain we are going through, so that uh, at least they can, uh, um, you know, go in the house and pass the necessary legislation that will govern, you know, the rights of persons with disability. He said he also hopes that the general public would be more empathetic of the disabled community as they try to go about their daily lives. It is also for the general public to realize that. We are blind and we, we need to be given that opportunity to walk the streets, to transact our business. Because too many times when people see us on the street, they will tell us why we can't stay home. You know, it's like, you know, we are causing a problem. At the end of the walk, the Honorable Marsha Henderson described the experience as humbling and eye-opening. You know, I, I think it, what it did is it makes us consider the things we take for granted. For example, those of us who have all our faculties, we don't necessarily have a full appreciation of those who don't have their eyesight. And so for me, it was very humbling. And the Honorable Isoline Phillips said taking part made her more aware of the day-to-day -day challenges that blind persons face. I think the, the surfacing of the woes doesn't make it very easy for a blind person to navigate. Um, it's quite, you know, uneven and bumpy. I can only imagine if I had to do that just every day, all day of my life. Uh, I don't know how well I would navigate, but it's certainly um, food for thought for us just in terms of the ways that we can um, improve our environment especially our just you know uh, infrastructure so that we can be better able to accommodate persons who are blind the experience my pain walk was held to commemorate regional blindness awareness month jason davis for zizz news